Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be doing a piercing related video and this one is going to be the pros and the cons of a tongue piercing. So a lot of people have been asking me to do this video and I could have swore I thought I already did one like this, but I guess I haven't. So today I'm going to be telling you the pros and the cons of having a tongue piercing. So I don't know if we should, I never know how to do these. Do we start with the pros or do we start with the cons? I don't know if we should end on a good note or end on a bad note. I don't really know. Um, I do have a little list written down and I do have the pros uh, there listed first. So I guess we're going to go ahead and start with the pros of having a tongue piercing. Okay, so the very first pro, in my opinion, of having a tongue piercing is that they just look super freaking cool. Like, I don't really know how else how else to literally like, discuss this. Like, I just love the look of tongue piercings. I think they look good on both sexes, both male and female. I just, I love the way they look. It's like a little secret piercing that no one has to know about, and they're not, they're not that noticeable. I mean, it all depends on the kind of jewelry that you do wear on it. No, I just think they look super cool, and they're really flattering, again, like I said, on everybody, and they just work with everybody. So that's very, that's basically the first pro that I want to, like, get out there is, like, they look so cool! Like, I love them, and I'm so glad I got mine. I've had my tongue done for... Oh gosh, what was it? When did I get it? 2012? I think I've had it for about four years now and I still absolutely love it. It still is one of my all-time favorites. Sometimes it does get a little bit annoying like if I am, you know, wearing a bar that is too long and it's clanking around everywhere, then I don't really like it. But when I have like this one in, which is like perfectly sized for my tongue, um, then it's fine. Another pro to having a tongue piercing is that there are so many different jewelry options that you can wear to it. You're not limited to just one certain thing. You can wear, I've seen people wear like horseshoe rings in them. I don't know how they do that, but I have seen that before. You can get different colors. You can get different size balls on the top. You can get designs. You can get sayings. Um, you can get vibrating ones, you know, if you're into that sort of thing. So I think the main point of these kind of pros and cons videos is I think a lot of people watch them for the con part of it because I mean obviously people look at piercings and they think they look good and they think they're super pretty and flattering but you know there is something in the back of your mind that makes you think okay what what could go wrong if I were to get this piercing so that's really what I like to kind of focus on when I do these videos it are the cons of them and just things that you know could happen or you know just things like that. So moving on to some of the cons of having a tongue piercing is that if you are pierced strong or you aren't pierced properly, nerve damage is very much possible. Your tongue is one of the strongest muscles in your body and obviously there are nerves there that is kind of a no-brainer. It's kind of like a hello duh kind of thing. Um, yeah, there are nerves there and a, there are stories on the internet of people, you know, losing feeling in their tongue in certain areas like people losing feeling on the tip of their tongue or on the side of their tongue and you know that just happens with you know if you are pierced improperly or another thing about having a tongue piercing that is kind of a con is it can cause teeth and gum damage a lot of the times people end up taking their tongue piercing out after one year some people take it out after five and some people still have it in and they've had it for 20 plus years so it really all depends on where you were pierced the kind of jewelry that you have and just things like your overall oral health and how you do take care of your teeth and your tongue piercing and all that good stuff but yeah, they can cause teeth and gum damage, you know, gum recession. People have chipped their teeth before, which is why I totally recommend wearing Bioplast as long as it's healed. Um, you know, just something that's not very hard on your teeth. I do wear a metal one just because I like the look of that one. But if possible, just try to go with something a little bit more gentle like acrylic or Bioplast. But another thing about having a tongue piercing that kind of sucks is the healing period. The healing process for me was really, really difficult. Um, it was very, very painful. Uh, when I first got it done, uh, it wasn't too bad. It was really, really hard to eat. Like, I couldn't eat applesauce. Like, eating applesauce and drinking things was a chore. Like, it was the craziest thing. But what's funny about that is now, if I take out my tongue piercing and try to eat something or take a drink, it actually feels really freaking weird and I hate it. It's like I have to have my tongue piercing in when I'm trying to eat. But yeah, the healing period definitely sucked. You know, it got really swollen. I couldn't eat anything. Uh, talking was kind of hard. And also, around day five I around day two I had some hot tea big mistake because around the day five mark all of my taste buds got swollen and if you have ever had a swollen taste bud on your tongue it is very very 
very painful, at least in my opinion. And the whole left side of my tongue, while it was healing, all my taste buds were swollen and inflamed. So it was very, very hard, and the healing process can be hard. Uh, varies person to person. Some people were able to go out and eat a steak dinner right after they got their tongue piercing, and other people were bedridden like myself. Like, it was just, it was a really, really hard process. I do have a playlist on my tongue piercing where I did go through each day and record how it was doing. Um, like at one point I thought I did have nerve damage because my taste buds were so swollen, uh, but that wasn't the case. My I can feel everything on my tongue. No nerve damage or nothing like that ever happened. It healed just fine, but the healing process can be a little bit hard and it does take a lot to adjust and get used to. One of the cons that I wanted to add into this video that I wanted to make very, very, very prominent is the number one con, in my personal opinion, of having a tongue piercing is when people see that you have a tongue piercing, they automatically assume that you like to suck dick for a living. And I'm not even kidding. So many people, like, you know, creeps just from YouTube or social media, they would send me really, really nasty messages being like, oh yeah, you have a tongue piercing, you like to... Da, da, da. It literally drove me nuts. Like, I can't stand when people think that just because I have a tongue piercing that I like to give oral sex. That is not, not, bold, underline, box that shit, not like to give oral sex all day long just because I have a tongue piercing. Like, that is just so freaking annoying and that is the number one thing I can't stand about having a tongue piercing is People automatically assume that you're a slut and a whore. I simply got a tongue piercing because I liked the look of them. I got one because I wanted it for years. I got it when I was 19. I still have it now four years later. So it's just it's just something I like to have and it's one of the things I can't stand about having a tongue piercing is the assumptions that people make about me. And then the last con that I have for this cons, pros and cons of a tongue piercing video is probably um, the thing that a lot of people ask me about and that is a lisp. Sometimes when you get a tongue piercing, it can affect your way of talking and you do sometimes develop a lisp where you can't say certain words or certain things are said a little bit funny. Some people who don't even have tongue piercings have lisp. It's just it's just the thing that happens, but you know, after people do get their tongue pierced, they do sometimes develop a lisp and um, there's really, you know, nothing you can do about it unless you take the tongue piercing out or, you know, I don't really know, but a lot of people have asked me if I have one because of my tongue piercing and no, you guys, the way I talk is the way I talk. The way I talk is the way I've always talked. Um, I don't know why people assume that I talk funny, but a lot of people think my voice is a little bit silly. And if you do develop one, I would just take the tongue piercing out and try to get it pierced at a later date in a different location if it is possible for your anatomy. Okay, everybody, so that is everything that I have for this pros and cons of a tongue piercing video. I really hope this helped you. I really hope maybe I gave you some new things to think about or look at when you're thinking about getting a tongue piercing. Uh, let me know if you want to add anything else to either the pros or the cons down in the comments. I would greatly appreciate it. I love interacting with you guys. But that is all that I have for right now. If you guys enjoyed, give a huge thumbs up and don't forget to go down and subscribe. But until then, I will see you all very soon in my next video. I love you guys. Bye!